Hello. I'm going to show you how to use the e-signature feature in Google Docs. I have a filter permission form here, and let's say this is what I want to send home to parents to make sure they sign the permission slip. I'm going to come up to insert, and then I'm going to choose e-signature fields, and it brings this pop-out bar. So you have the option to add multiple signers. If I want to add another signer here, I've previously added signer 2, so I'm going to say manage signers and I'm gonna say signer three. But you can make these titles anything that you want save. As you can see now, I have three signer options. Right here in the full name, I just need a text field, so I'm just gonna add a text field. Emergency contact number, text field for one, and then I'm gonna come up here and change this to signer two. So I'm gonna do a text field there for signer two. And I'm gonna add another text field, but I'm going to add that back to signer one. Here with parent guardian signature, same thing. I'm just going to add a name in there and I'm going to go for a possible parent two and add a name in there. And then with signature, I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to pop both of them in here. And then I also want the date signed and then I want to do initials as well. And then because my box splits, you see that the signer two option comes down below. I do wanna do the initials here as well. Once I'm satisfied with my permission slip, I'm gonna go and select the request e-signature. And yes, I do need to know their emails. One thing I want to note is you cannot have the same email address. So if mom and dad have the same email address, that won't work. So signer emails must be valid and unique. So I can come over here and put in a different email if I prefer. I can also change the document name as well. But once I'm satisfied with that, I can do request e-signature. This is just telling me that it's outside my work domain, so I'm gonna share anyway. And it's telling me now that e-signature request has been sent, and I wanna click the link below if I want to just view the PDF that it is now sending to the people receiving my signature requests. So I'm gonna say okay, and now I've opened my email to see that I have a new signature request, since my emails were the one I used to send the e-signatures to. And then because I was signer one, it's only gonna give me the options to put in where the signer one information is. As you can see, these are grayed out. That was where signer two is. And then it automatically fills the date that I'm signing this in. Once I click on the name field, a pop-up box comes up for the signee to put in their name and initials and information. And then they'll click adopt and sign. So now when I fill in, it will automatically fill all my stuff in for me. Once I fill everything in, we're going to mark this complete. I'm going to say yes, I've agreed to those. And for signer 2, it will look exactly the same. Now coming back to the original email address that I sent the document from, it'll come back and show me that one person has already signed and I'm still waiting for the others. So I'm just going to open what I already have back. It'll show me that signer 1 has filled in and I'm still waiting on signer. Too. And then it even shows me when all this happened. The only thing I'm not a fan of with the e-signature option is I was in this folder when I created this uh, field trip permission form, but the final copy, that PDF copy that I showed earlier in the video, ends up in the My Drive area. And so if I want this in a specific folder, I have to go back and find it in My Drive and then drag it to the folder I need it in. It's just an organization nuisance for me, but others might not feel the same way. I hope this is helpful and you find a way to utilize this in your classes. Try out the e-signature option.